Hello and welcome to this MaxView satellite update tutorial film. Uh, now uh, I'm Neil Greatry and I'm here to show you exactly how you uh, can easily update your seeker and your target uh, satellite systems. Now I have a system on my team bus uh, and, uh, and me and Joe are going to do it together uh, and show you just how easy it is. So first of all what you need is you need a pen or a pencil, uh, a USB stick, uh, one megabyte or more and a PC or laptop that you can go onto the MaxView website. So first of all we go indoors onto the website to show you how you download the update for your satellite systems. Okay so we are now on the MaxView homepage www.maxview.co.uk and as you can see on the homepage if we look on the right side here we can see important Astra 2 satellite software update. Now this is where you need to go uh, so we click on that and it takes us to this page here. Now it is quite important that uh, first of all if we look at the page we can uh, we can see at the bottom here the, the two links and whether it's uh, uh, the seeker or the target that you uh, have those are the links you're going to make but whatever you do don't just click on it what you need to do is read this piece above it here which basically explains that what you do is you right click on the link and then you do a save as uh, otherwise it kind of comes up as a load of text which doesn't mean a great deal so uh, so mine's a, a seeker so I'm going to right click here and I'm going to save the link as uh, and it comes up at the top as update SND1 now I want it on my desktop uh, and then all I'll do is basically uh, uh, save that like so and as you can see it's now saving into my desktop okay so we are now on my uh, desktop and uh, here we can see on the right hand side is uh, update SND hex. This is the file which I have downloaded from the MaxView website. Uh, so what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to plug in a USB memory stick uh, uh, on the side. So if I plug that in now, we can now see uh, as far as sizes of uh, the, the USB memory stick, uh, one megabyte, so you know, very small. This this doesn't take too much uh, memory at all. So one megabyte uh, upwards, and we should any moment see. Here we go. Uh, our memory stick now appear. So here we are. Now the first thing you need to do is uh, open the memory stick and ensure that it's clear. So if you have any stuff on there at the moment, you need to clear it. So the memory stick only will have the the update on it uh, and it's quite easy just to transfer we just uh, click on our update drag it in and uh, and leave it and uh, it will now start uh, uploading so we've now come into the team bus and I'm ably equipped with my pen which I said and the USB stick which we downloaded off the internet uh, so here we have my system which we have the MaxView seeker controller here and just above it you can just see here is the receiver now it's only the controller we're concerned with. So if we just tell you what it should look like on the front, first of all, a USB port here, an LED there, reset button there, and if we pull this round, so I have restricted access, power button there, and a fuse there. But what we're gonna do is we just need good access to our USB, so I'm gonna pull this round slightly there, and first of all, we're gonna turn on the unit, so my red light has come on there, and just give it a couple of seconds just to bed in. What we now do is we go to the reset button, I'm just going to hold it secure, and hold it down for seven seconds. The light comes on. Okay. So once we have that, our USB goes in. Now this particular USB is going to cover that light, but that light starts to flash green as it downloads. We'll have a go at showing you that as I put that in. Okay. If you look right underneath there, you can probably see there it's flashing nice and clearly for you it does it for about five seconds once it stops flashing like now okay what we now do it's now downloaded the information onto that but we have to then remove the USB stick in the right way and the way we do that is first of all turn the controller off now we can remove the USB stick we can now put this back in how we like it like so, turn it back on. Okay, now it has a few seconds just to tell itself the new upload, which it flashes red and green. And once it's completed that, we should now be ready 
to do our new system. So one thing you just need to remember when we come to uh, reuse our updated software on our Seeker system, uh, if we press the button here and uh, go to search, what sometimes happens is this will go onto RF error. Now, if that does happen, okay, this hasn't done it this time, but it'll say RF error. All you need to do is come round to your controller and press your reset button just quickly, just one second, press it, it retunes in the uh, radio frequency and then off this goes perfectly happy. Happens 50% of the time, so not always, but sometimes. And here we can see she's now searching for our new Astra 28. And that will be found in about 20 seconds. Any questions or queries, just give the guys a call at Maxview Customer Care. Thanks for watching.